Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on the ulnar nerve. Anatomy of the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve arises from the brachial plexus. Its fibers originate from the C6, C7, C8, and T1. It arises from the medial cord, which continues from the anterior division of the lower trunk, and it may receive contributions from C6 and C7. At the axilla, it lies medial to the axillary artery. At the level of the arm, the ulnar nerve lies medial to the brachial artery on the coracobrachialis muscle in the anterior compartment. It passes to the posterior compartment through the medial intermuscular septum. Distally, it runs with the superior ulnar collateral artery. At the level of the elbow, it descends between the medial head of the triceps brachii and the medial intermuscular septum. It passes posterior to the medial epicondyle of the humerus, where it lies in the ulnar groove. At the level of the forearm, it enters the forearm between the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris. It subsequently lies superficial to the flexor digitorum profundus and deep to the flexor carpi ulnaris and medial to the ulnar artery. At the level of the wrist, it runs beneath the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris. It is medial to the ulnar artery. At the hand, it enters the hand superficial to the flexor retinaculum and inside Guyon's canal. It divides into its terminal branches at the level of the pisiform bone. Motor supply includes flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor digitorium profundus, medial half, hypotenar muscles, third and fourth lumbricals, palmar and dorsal interossi, flexor pollicis brevis deep head, adductor pollicis palmaris brevis. Sensory supply of the articular innervation to the elbow, wrist, carpal and phalangeal joints, cutaneous innervation to the ulnar aspect of the hand, the fifth digit and medial half of the fourth digit. Indications for ulnar nerve block Dermatofasciectomy of the fifth finger, analgesia for procedures on the medial side of the hand and the forearm, Digital nerve blocks or ring blocks provides anesthesia for finger surgery and palmar fasciectomy. Ulnar nerve blockade can be done at the level of the brachial plexus. Follow the general measures of nerve blockade in the brachial plexus block videos. At the mid-humeral level, the ulnar nerve can be blocked. Position the patient supine Abduct the shoulder to 90 degrees with the elbow flexed. Divide the humerus into thirds, marking the junction of the upper and middle thirds, which is the point of insertion of the deltoid into the humerus. Palpate the brachial artery. The ulnar nerve is below and medial to the brachial artery and superficial to the triceps. Angle the needle proximally towards the axilla medial to the artery. Once flexion of fingers and wrist occurs, Manipulate the needle until the stimulating current is between 0.3 and 0.5 mA. After aspiration, 8 to 10 mL of local anesthetic is injected in 4 to 5 mL aliquots. Ultrasound technique will be similar as an ultrasound guided axillary block. At the level of the elbow, the nerve can be blocked with about 5 mL of local anesthetic injected. 2 to 3 cm proximal to the ulnar groove after 4th and 5th digit flexion and thumb adduction is obtained at 0.3 to 0.5 mA on nerve stimulation. Injection at the level of the ulnar groove is not recommended as there is a theoretical risk of compressive neuropathy. Injection into the actual fibrous sheath at the elbow is associated with residual neuritis. At the mid-forearm level, using a high-frequency linear probe, the probe is placed transversely on the anterior medial aspect of the forearm. 
It is a round oval hyperechoic structure which is joined by the ulna artery from the lateral side as it descends distally. Inject 5 mL of local anesthetic immediately medial to the ulna artery to block the ulna nerve using an in-plane approach. At the level of the wrist, the ulna nerve lies beneath the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris proximal to the pisiform bone, medial and deep to the ulna artery. At the point 5 cm proximal to the wrist crease on the ulna side of the wrist, insert the block needle immediately lateral to the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. Nerve stimulation at the depth of about 1.5 cm will result in flexion of the little finger at 0.3 to 0.5 mA. Inject 3 to 5 mL of local anesthetic to block the ulna nerve. Ultrasound guidance. The ulna nerve is a triangular shaped hyperechoic structure on the medial aspect of the ulna artery underneath the tendon of the FCU and can be blocked with 3 to 5 mL of local anesthetic. Ulna nerve damage and its clinical signs. It is vulnerable to pressure from the operation table, arm supports, and protection of the elbow with padding is a routine practice. The ulna nerve is also vulnerable to stretch. The upper arm should not be displaced posteriorly and it should not be abducted to greater than 90 degrees. The anesthetist can be blamed for any ulna nerve damage. Ulna nerve palsy has been reported even when every precaution has been taken. Symptoms and signs of injury include sensory loss and paresthesia in the ulna nerve distribution, the classic claw sign, the extensors of the fingers and the long flexors of the hand act unopposed. The ulna nerve paradox occurs because the flexor digitorium profundus is also paralyzed. If the nerve is transected at the elbow, the clawing is less marked. These are my references. Thank you.